now let's look at the initial setup for purchase function so we'll go to setup we'll go to easy setup assistant and click this purchase okay just like we learned in sales it has got all these sections here but now it's a purchase side of it so let's go next again it'll give you the option to select the layout a service item or professional so if you're buying inventory you can select item in this example I will leave it as service in general you would not be required to print a purchase invoice you know the reason why because say for example you're entering uh, an invoice from coca-cola so you have an invoice you enter the information there is no necessity for you to uh, to go and reprint the invoice from Mayo okay whereas in sales section you are generating an invoice for your sales for your customers so you need to print it and send it to your customer or you need to email it to your customer whereas in this example in purchase section very very few times you would be required to print a purchase invoice from Mayo okay so let me go next so I will leave it uh, at the service layout so I'm going next now here if you have a default expense account you can select the expense account just like in sales but here because you deal with number of invoices I will not select any uh, GL code here so I leave it as blank and the credit limit leave it as zero and click next again the tax code whatever you're purchasing within Australia 90% of the items has got GST there are few items which comes under FRE category something like milk or bread uh, some so I recommend you to get your tax accountants advice or financial controllers advice but because this is a setup I am I am leaving it at a default GST because 90% of my invoices I am assuming here that they are GST attracted in the same thing when someone charges price to us what is the tax code again I am leaving that as GST because this is an initial setup okay so I'm going next again the same thing as a payment method what kind of payment method do you want to select so I would say direct deposit or direct payment so in this case I can pay them with my credit card with the F4 or so whichever way so I'm not selecting a default here remember this is purchases module money is going out of the company yet yeah? so it can go from any method again the same thing what is the usual terms your suppliers give you I would recommend you to do the same thing as in a number of days so I would say 30 days so usually you might get 30 days or 14 days or 7 days but let's say 30 days this is a general setup but you have to do this setup individually for every supplier but these um, details will go by default so you don't have to you know keep uh, re-keying the information um, so as an initial setup I'm leaving that as 30 days but you need to remember that it's going to be different with every supplier okay um, we will look in detail when you are looking at purchases module and how to create a supplier okay let's go next again the linked information when you are making a payment here you got to be very careful and you got to pay attention here what usually happens is when I'm paying money out of my bank account usually I don't pay one by one to supplier what I use is I do something called an ABA file so I would select few of them and I would select I would make a bulk payment for few of the suppliers so what I want to do is I don't want that to go into check account I want to go to that electronic clearing account you see this 11190 so if you select this you can actually bulk all these payments into one payment and upload an ABA file I will discuss in detail when I'm discussing the payment options from purchases module so for this uh, tutorial let me select the electronic clearing account okay I didn't do that for per for customers or sales module but for purchases module I am selecting this electronic clearing account okay so you got to be very careful to understand this one so I'm saying next again the same the supplier card information 
because I don't have any suppliers it doesn't show me in, any information here when I click new and start creating supplier list it's going to uh, pop up all the supplier names and the amounts okay which I will discuss in detail when I'm creating each supplier card okay so I'm saying next right okay historical purchases and there's nothing there and next is conclusion so that is how you do the initial setup for purchases function